Brave Charlotte by Anu Stoner and Henrique Wilson. Nobody knew why Charlotte was different from all the other sheep, but she had been different right from the start. When all the other lambs just stood shyly by their mothers, Charlotte was leaping around, ready for an adventure. Jack, the old sheepdog, tried to keep Charlotte in line, but she wasn't scared of him. One day, Charlotte went missing. The shepherd found her up in a tree. Jack tried to chase her down, but Charlotte wanted to stay up there a little longer and moved only when she was ready. Tut, 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 said the old sheep, shaking their heads disapprovingly. Where is this all going to end? But that was just the beginning. Another time, Charlotte jumped over the side of a riverbank and went for a swim in the fast running stream. Tut, 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 said the older sheep, shaking their heads. Tut, tut, tut. Before long, Charlotte was up to more mischief. She had climbed to the very top of the highest peak, something no sheep had ever done before. Oh, 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 groaned the other sheep. They were hardly able to watch because it made them feel dizzy. When they found Charlotte on the side of a dangerously busy road, staring at the oncoming traffic, all the sheep wanted to know what she was doing. But Charlotte didn't want to tell them. Oh my goodness, exclaimed the old sheep. What is she up to? What would they say if they knew that at night, Charlotte secretly roamed through the countryside? When all the others were sleeping, she would quietly slip away to her special place and gaze at the moon. Even Jack didn't notice anything out of the ordinary, but he didn't have very good ears these days. Then in autumn, as the days grew shorter and the nights darker, something terrible happened. The shepherd fell over and broke his leg. Jack barked and circled around him, but that didn't help one bit. The shepherd lay in the grass, not knowing what to do. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, said the older sheep. Somebody must go to the farmer's house in the valley and get help. Jack should go. He is the only one who knows the way. But it is too far. He hardly even manages with the herd these days. Yes, that's true, said the others, shaking their heads in despair. Then Charlotte said, I'll do it. I'll go. Charlotte, muttered the older sheep, the little rascal. Out of the question. A sheep has never gone to the valley alone. Absolutely not. The older sheep were beside themselves with worry, but Charlotte could no longer hear them. She had already reached the big oak tree and was trying to find the right way to the valley. She bounded over fields through the fast running stream and over the mountaintops until it got dark. When Charlotte reached the busy road, it was in the middle of the night. She stood at the side of the road and watched the oncoming traffic. The lights of the cars shone. So did Charlotte's eyes. A truck driver noticed Charlotte's shining eyes and stopped in the road. Going to the valley? He asked kindly. Charlotte nodded. It was so nice to roar through the night in the truck that Charlotte was almost sorry to have to get out. Take care, said the friendly truck driver. You too, thought Charlotte. The farmer was asleep when Charlotte tapped on a window pane with her nose. A sheep, said the farmer's wife, who woke up first. It's Charlotte, said the farmer, and she is all alone. Something must be up. Charlotte and the farmer drove on the tractor to find the other sheep. When they arrived, the poor shepherd was still lying in the grass. The farmer took him to the hospital without delay. The shepherd had his leg in a cast for three weeks before he was able to go back to the sheep. He's not a youngster anymore, said the older sheep, just like Jack, tut, tut, tut. What will happen to us, they wondered. As long as Charlotte is here to watch over us, we should be okay. That's very true, said the older sheep. They continued to chatter and shake their heads. And Charlotte? At that moment, she was taking Jack to her special place.